Good morning, Mortar Cars. Today is Monday, January 25th. Well, maybe it's not Monday, but I missed the word of the day on Monday. So I'm going to pretend like it's Monday. So please play along with me. All right, today is Monday, January 25th. 1915, Alexander Graham Bell inaugurated the Transcontinental Telephone Service. 1924, the first Winter Olympic Games opened up in Chamonix, France. President John F. Kennedy on this day held the first presidential news conference carried live by radio and TV. We got a couple birthdays. So, <laughs> Joss Witter, Honda Tech, and Andre Watkins in Recon. So, happy birthday, guys. <laughs> it's a little late. But anyway, uh, we had the chili cook-off today. And I got to tell you, if you didn't participate in it or you weren't there for it, you really missed out on something. We had some great, great contestants. The chili was fantastic. We had probably one of the best turnouts. Really, really thank everybody for participating and getting behind a program like this. It, it's kind of rewarding when you see that many people getting involved with it. So thanks, everybody. We had a little problem with the winner. I mean, I don't even have to announce her name anymore because everybody knows. Gloria. Uh, congratulations, Gloria. As always, you won. And it, it, said, it just didn't seem right that uh, uh, somebody can cook as good as Gloria because every time she went. So great job. Uh, second place, we had a, a, a new winner in Sean Best in the Honda, in Honda down in the service department. And in third place, he's, I think he's won a couple times, Mike Gentry. So good job, Mike. So guys, <laughs> great job and thanks everybody for help. Construction update. Wow, it's like done. Uh, it really is amazing. It's turning out great. Uh, I would say we have about two more weeks left to work to get the downstairs area finished. Probably about another, probably about another 30 days before the, the, the kids' playroom is done because we're just waiting on some different things we ordered to be to come in. Um, but I'd say in in a, in a month that down, you know, downstairs area will be completed. Got the pictures up in the the platinum lounge and you know, everything's looking great, guys. And it's really exciting. If you haven't been down there within the last week even because it's changed so much, go down and take a look because it really is, it, it really did turn out great and I'm really proud of it. Um, the heating and air conditioning, uh, they're finishing that up. I saw the crane out there yesterday lifting some units up and so we're pretty well, pretty close to it. So I think we should have a great year this uh, winter as far as having the, the dealership heated properly and so it's not too hot or not too cold, cold like it's always been in the past. So I'm glad to have that project done with. And um, I think we're ordering the paint boost for the Pontiac building, and that's still moving ahead. We've got all the approvals from the city, and that's being done. And I believe we're probably in the next couple of weeks going to be installing LED lights in both the Toyota store and the Honda store. And so we're going to have all new LED lights, which will be fantastic. And the assembly line is, is take, making progress. We're waiting for the sensors, which should be here, I imagine, in about uh, three weeks and get the electrical in in some time in the next three weeks and so it should be operational I would say you know probably about a month you know, we're waiting you know keeps working feverishly on the, the program for it and so I say as soon as that's done we'll be operational the plan is kind of to um, probably not do any cars on it uh, any customer pay cars on it for about a month after we're finished I'd like to try to just ruin used cars on it uh, maybe employees' cars or something like that, to give us an opportunity to work out all the kinks on it. Uh, we're getting the staff put together for down there, and so everything's moving along really good. I got a bunch of 110%, which I've been very negligent on doing, like I said, because I've been on vacation. And uh, um, anyway, so let me start with this one. This is from Brian to Adam Howell. We had to get marking material to Rick Smith and Broadview Heights. Adam stepped up and said he would drop them off after work on Saturday. Adam lives in Cleveland Heights. Really appreciate him handling this, though not convenient for him. Thanks a lot, Adam, and <laughs> we get a toot for that. Uh, next, from George Ann to Duran. Saturday, Saturday, January 2nd, Duran came in, even though it was his day off, to finish an engine job so he would not be backed up on a normal work day. He also was there to help and support those working on that day. He always steps up and helps when needed. So thanks, Duran. <laughs> Kevin to Raj. Raj was fur as furiously 
furiously mopped the, the floors in the showroom whenever they were wet and needed to keep the water from being tracked to the showroom. Very dangerous situation with water on the floors. And Raj, I appreciate that. Uh, Kevin said that Raj always helps whenever needed and never says no. He's a true asset to motor cars. And thanks, Raj. And Raj, I want to thank you a double thank because that really, keeping those floors dry, boy, that is just critical because people will slip. <laughs> You got a double one there. Uh, Kevin, the shovel. Thank you, Shell, for shoving the walkway into the building uh, this morning uh, from customer parking. You are always very helpful and fun to be around. Keep up the great work and sell more cars. So, <laughs> thank you, Shovel. <coughs> no. Excuse me. Brian sent to Bob Washall. We had a customer that had we had sold a car to a few months ago and was not happy for a variety of reasons with the pilot. She told she sold us the car back. <coughs> Excuse me. And Bob was extremely helpful in getting the customer home quickly because she didn't have any transportation. This was helpful, so a bad situation didn't get worse. So thanks a lot, Bob. <laughs> And this is from Bob Washall. Uh, today we met with Dave Mauer and the parts and service team for improving our website to make, and ways to improve our website to make it more user friendly for customers. I have to say it was a, the best meeting that we have had. Lots of great information, great new ideas, and was struck very well structured and very informative. Great job, Dave. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. My grandkids gave me a cold when we were on vacation. Anyway, uh, on Monday, this is from uh, Bob Washoff to the Honda Parts Service Team. On Monday, it was Martin Luther King Day, and it was a holiday, of course, and we were slammed with appointments and walk-ins. Everyone stepped up to make sure that everyone was handled quickly and in a timely manner. So, great job, everybody, and thank you. All right, there's 110%. Now I want to talk about uh, my thought for the day. And I, I said I was on a Disney cruise with my grandkids and uh, my kids, and uh, we had a great time, by the way. I recommend it to anybody. But what I what was really amazing was the staff that Disney uh, has on the boat. Um, uh, my boys were talking to them and asking a little bit about you know, how they got on the you know on the boat because um, Matt and Trevor both worked for Disney for a summer back when they were in college. But anyway, what they, they, they said that to work on the Disney Cruise Line, you have to have it be a college graduate in hotel or, or um, hotel management uh, and have worked in a five-star resort for at least three years. Amazing how tough it is. But I can understand by watching the people, you know, you know why they're, you know, uh, why they're so good. I mean, sure it's the training. But boy, I'll tell you, the fish philosophy was handled to the T on the boat. And that was kind of the one thing, if I noticed, I could say one thing that was common amongst every one of those employees, besides their great education and great work history, was that they all believed in the fish philosophy. They all had a great attitude. They all had fun. And they really made people's day by looking, by, you know, by made their day by looking for little things, by being there. And they would look for things. I would walk around, I had my hand bandaged for my surgery, and they were, I mean, it was always asking, oh my gosh, are you okay? Can I help you with anything? So they were, they noticed the little things and tried to make it so I felt that I was an important person. And they did, and it made me feel very important because of it. The way they interacted with the kids, always doing something. So we'd be at dinner, they would take a couple minutes just to interact with the kids, knowing that the parents are beaming with glory as they see their their children being you know treated so kindly, so I really thought the fish philosophy was true on the Disney cruise, and I did a great job. So everybody, please go back to fish, read it, and and practice those simple four things: have fun, have a good attitude, be there, and make their day. And if we do that with all of our customers, we're going to be extremely successful. Okay, heroes for the day. I got two of them. First off, Ted. Ted does this amazing thing of taking you know pictures of inside the dealership and can put them on the, and I don't know what it's called and if you ask him it's more complicated than I can do 
but you can navigate all all throughout the story like you're walking through it but you have to take these pictures when nobody there's nobody in the store and so he came in last night when the, when the store was closed and so that has to be after two <laughs> um, or three I'm sorry three after three o'clock anyway so he got that he was here for about four hours last night so great job Ted thank you <laughs> and also Steve uh, Steve did a great job uh, he spray washed the whole service department uh, and it looks amazing it's a great job and thank you for taking that initiative and I hope that everybody does that you know this time of year is so critical that we you know keep our place clean you know picking up paper cleaning up your desk just doing whatever you can to make the place look like it's brand new because you know, Honda store is basically all brand new but that image we want is not going to happen if we don't look if we don't take pride in our dealerships and make them look you know top-notch every day so anyway thanks everybody and 